tonight as we do celebrate our Lord's Supper. I thought you would enjoy the view from our stained glass windows. They're beautiful, aren't they? And they remind us of the light of Christ that will never go out. Never, ever go out. Because that light of Christ is in our lives and will continue to burn for eternity. So here now the words of institution of the Holy Supper of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. On the night of his arrest, Christ took the loaf of bread. He lifted it up to heaven. He blessed it and broke it and said, This is my body broken for you. Whenever you eat this, do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup and he said, This cup is the new covenant, sealed in my blood, shed for you for the forgiveness of your sins. Whenever you drink this, do this in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and you drink this cup, you do proclaim the saving death of our risen Lord until he comes again. Praise be to God for this joyous meal at God's table. Let us pray. Heavenly Savior, on this Monday Thursday, as we watch you arrested, beaten, and put on trial, our hearts break, for we do love you, Jesus. Many times it's just hard to stand up for you, but we do love you. Help us, O oh God, to be confident in your spirit as we take this bread and this juice and be transformed in body and in soul so that we can go out into this world and proclaim the saving message of Jesus Christ for all to hear. What a grand and glorious time it is, O oh God, for us to begin to testify to the wondrous life in Christ. All this we do ask in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who taught us how to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Tonight and in the day ahead, Jesus would be put on trial and he would be crucified on a cross between two criminals. An innocent man but it was because of that love for us that he gave his life so that we might live forever with him. Let this meal tonight serve to remind us of the gift of the Spirit as we do take the bread, drink the juice, and be renewed in the Spirit. God bless you.